roof. As he was looking out over the city, he noticed a beautiful woman hanging around by her pool. He needed to find out right away who this woman was. Servant, come here right now. Yes. Tell me, do you know who that woman is? She is Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam and the wife of Uriah, the Hittite. Go and bring her to me. Yes. Your Majesty, Bathsheba is here to see you. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> come, 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 come. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. <laughs> David and Bathsheba spent a lot of time together. Eventually, Bathsheba became pregnant. And she sent David a message that she was pregnant. Yes. Here's a letter from the chief. Thank you. Oh no, she's pregnant. Servant, yes. go bring Uriah and tie it to me. Yes, my king. My king, Uriah is here to see you now. Thank you. Your eyes stand up. Tell me, how are Joab and the army getting along? Everyone's getting along fine, my lord. Give me an update on the war. It's tiring and very difficult, my lord, but it's a fighting hard. Okay, how about you? So go home, rest, and spend some time with your family. Yes, my lord. David did this because he was guilty of making Bathsheba pregnant. David then sent a lot of food for Uriah, but Uriah didn't go home. Servant! Yes? Did you send food to Uriah's home? Yes, I did, but Uriah wasn't home. Mm. Mm. Go bring him to me, now. Yes, my king. Uriah is here to see you. Thank you. Uriah, stand up. What's the matter? Why didn't you go home last night after being away for so long? Well, everyone's living in tents, my lord. Joab and my master's men are all camping outside in an open field. How could I go home to dine and wine and be with my wife? I would never do such a thing. Okay, how about you stay here tonight and tomorrow you may return to the army? Yes, my lord. So, Uriah stayed with David that day and the next. David invited him to dinner and got him drunk. But even then, he couldn't get Uriah to go home to his wife. Man, I don't want to be put to death because of this. I know I've committed adultery. What shall I do? I must cover this up. Put Uriah in the front lines where the battle is most dangerous. Then pull back so that he will be killed. Servant! Yes. I want you to take this letter to Joab. Yes, my lord. Here is a letter from King David. Is it from King David? I must read this. Put Uriah in front line, where the battle is more dangerous. Then pull back so that he will be killed. Whoa! I wonder why it says what why this is. But as the king, as the king desires, Uriah!
Yes, sir. I need you to be in front of the line so, because you're strong and you got to hold us back. All right. Yes, sir. Uriah was sent to the spot closest to the city wall where the enemy's strongest men were fighting. The Israelites were able to push back the enemies, but the archers on the city walls shot arrows at them. The archers killed a few of the Israelites, and one of them was Uriah. We must report to the king. Seven, let's go. <laughs> Sir, we were winning the war. We didn't push them back to the city gates, but there were archers on the wall. And they shot arrows at us. Some of our men died. Even your eyes hit tight. Sir, tell Joab to not be discouraged. Fight harder next time and conquer the city. The sword takes one man today and another tomorrow. Alright, let's give them a hand.